guys, Norm McGregor on Isles Hotty Guy for Island Adventure. All right, it's October, and uh, October means it's uh, we're going to start needing some heat here pretty soon. So, three years ago, I stood up and showed you guys the installation of my Dimplex heaters, which I'll put a video link up here, and uh, I'm going to show you what uh, the performance of that because I never did that. So I'm going to show you how they perform, what kind of heat they put out and uh, what it's actually costing, because I've actually used it for a few days now, and uh, we'll see. Okay. Alright guys, so this is my uh, Dimplex 2000 watt baseboard heater, and uh, I upgraded to the Dimplex because it's a straight flow through design, which gives you way, way more efficiency and way more heat. So uh, let's see what it does. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to turn the heat on and I'm going to turn it up to about 17, 20 degrees Celsius. So that should uh, start it up and uh, let's see what kind of heat comes out of it. Alright guys, so I'm standing over top of my uh, Dimplex 2000 watt heater and as you can see there's light coming through the bottom and that is the straight flow through design. Uh, air comes in the bottom and straight out the top and that's one of the reasons that these heaters are so efficient Okay, so I got my heat gun and I'm going to do a run across the heater and see what it's producing So let's go see so We're 190, 200, 210, 5, 10, 14 What do I see there? Uh, 244, 231 uh, 223, 57, 60, 50. So we're in the 250 range for this heater. 250 degrees that the heat's putting out. Okay, that is a lot of heat coming out of this heater. Okay, because these heaters are so high output, Diplex says you must keep the heaters away from the wall. That's why they provide you with these spacers. And we're going to measure the wall temperature here to see how hot the wall gets with that one inch gap. Okay. So again, here's my heat gun. There's the wall. You can see 97, 98, 100, 90, so roughly around 100 degrees. Okay. So the wall's nice and cool, not going to go up in flames. And the Dimplex heater is putting out a ton of heat. Alright guys, so we are in my BC Hydro account summary. This is the consumption level for the last two weeks. Now, up until here, roughly September 13th, uh, we didn't use any electrical heat. But remember, my house is not 100% solar powered. Basically, the stove, the heat, and the hot water is 240 volts, so I don't run that off of solar, but everything else in the house is solar. So all the lights, the hot water tank, or not the hot water tank, the uh, fridge, freezer, um, TV, satellite, basically everything else but the stove, the hot water tank, and the electrical heat. So, this is what we normally run, and this shows you... And this day it was a dollar twenty-five, dollar sixty-one, two sixty-three. So let's say we average. Okay, this day there's probably lots of baths going on. Maybe we cooked a big steak or roast or something. Who knows? Anyways, so basically we're about a buck and a half a day for electricity. That's our normal heating bill. But as soon as I turned on the electric heat, because uh, it got a little chilly at night. So you can see we go up to three and a half, three thirty-nine, two three, two fifty, three eighteen, two oh seven, two oh nine, four oh eight. So basically we add roughly let's see, go back here. We're about a buck and a half average. Here we're probably uh what are we I'm gonna say let's let's say we go three dollars. So let's say it doubles. Okay, so basically that Dimplex heater has been heating my house for a dollar fifty a day for the last two weeks. 
Now, remember, it hasn't been that cold here. This is basically just to keep the house, but this has been running 24 hours a day. They cycle on, cycle off, and uh, really, for a buck and a half, that's, uh, and actually it's not even that. It's, I'm, I'm going to say a buck and a quarter on average to heat the house for that uh, amount of time. So as you can see, they're very, very efficient. All right, guys. So there's my three-year review on the Dimplex heaters. Okay, 40% more efficient and 60% faster heat. Yeah, I agree with you, Dimplex. Uh, these heaters do perform. And uh, if you want to save some money on your electric heat, uh, put through, put, uh, install some of these uh, Dimplex heaters. They're amazing. Uh, is it going to replace my wood stove? No, not even a chance. But for days like today, where the temperature's fairly mild, but I just need some basic heat in the house, the wood stove is way too hot, and uh, Dimplex heaters are very, very efficient to use. All right, guys, Norm McGregor on the Isle of Hideaway for All in the Venture. Take care.